Hello again, my name is Eric Figueroa. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting. So what is the ketogenic diet? The ketogenic diet is a high fat, moderate protein, low carbohydrate diet, which aims to produce ketones in your body. When you produce ketones in your body, that means that you are in a state of ketosis, which is a fat burning mode. What happens is that most people in the United States and throughout the world, they run their body on sugar. Well, less people run their body through fat. What happens is that your body will always prioritize running on sugar as opposed to fat. So that's the problem when people eat too much sugars and refined carbohydrates. So what is the benefit of the ketogenic diet? The ketogenic diet supports the liver, supports the brain, cognitive function, chilling with epilepsy, and other benefits as well. But the biggest benefit of the ketogenic diet is that it lowers insulin. I'll explain more about insulin in my future videos, but insulin is a hormone that's produced in the pancreas through carbohydrate foods. So what does the ketogenic diet comprise of? 70-75% fat, 20 to 25 percent protein, 5 percent carbohydrates. So just keep in mind that the percentages represents the amount of calories because in chemistry class, biology, or nutrition class, they, they tell you that fat is 9 calories per gram, protein is 4 calories per gram, and carbohydrate is 4 calories per gram. So how much carbohydrates do I recommend on a ketogenic diet? 20 to 25 grams of carbohydrates per day. The lower the grams of carbs, the better. So here's, so here's another illustration about my plates and how, what it comprised of. So half of your plate should be on vegetables, and then half it should be fat and protein. They pretty much are similar. The thing with the vegetables is that you should consume seven to 10 cups of vegetables per day. It seems a lot, I understand it's a lot, even I think it's a lot. But the thing with the vegetables is that one of the most benefits of vegetables is that they're rich in phytonutrients and they're rich on fiber. The thing with fiber is that fiber has zero impact on insulin. So that's why we consume lots of vegetables without a problem. The most important thing with the carbohydrates is that you do not count carbohydrates on vegetables. Why? Again, it does. Uh, it's rich on fiber and it doesn't spike insulin. Zero effect whatsoever. So don't add the carbohydrates of vegetables in your carb equation. So now I'm going to talk about intermittent fasting. So what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is a pattern of eating. It doesn't mean reducing calories because when you reduce calories that means that it will compromise your metabolism you're going to have less energy we don't want that we don't want you to starve to death we don't want you to pass out the thing with intermittent fasting is that one of the benefits of intermittent fasting is that it decreases insulin why because intermittent fasting you're not eating frequently you're, you're cutting out the snacking so that's what it is with intermittent fasting, is that you're, re you're reducing snacks or not having snacks at all, and pretty much you're not eating frequently. So that's one of the biggest benefits with intermittent fasting. The thing with intermittent fasting is that it only works on a ketogenic diet. Why? Because sugar makes us hungry, makes us satisfied. Because if you notice, when you eat all these sugars and refined carbohydrates, you're going to feel satisfied in one moment, maybe for the first hour or so. And then after that, your body's going to demand more and more of it. So that's the problem of consuming sugars and refined carbohydrates. It's because of that reason. Also with intermittent fasting is that you need to pay attention to your body. You, you're going to need to graduate if you're going to do intermittent fasting. So that's, the, so that's the thing. Pay attention to your body. If you're ready to do it, do it but otherwise eat you have to eat we don't want you to to pass out other thing with intermittent fasting is that intermittent fasting 
also benefits through the ketogenic diet. Why? Again, it reduces hunger. So what can you not have during a ketogenic diet? Refined carbohydrates and sugars like chips, tortillas, juice, soda, pancakes, bread, rice and beans, milk, except for almond milk or coconut milk, just make sure it's sugar free, cookies, alcohol. I'm sorry folks, I do not recommend alcohol. It's very conflicting because some people do recommend alcohol and ketogenic diet, but I don't, especially for the purposes of weight loss. And I'll explain more about alcohol in my future videos, so stay tuned for that. And fruit, except for a small amount of berries. And I'll explain more about fruit in, in my future videos, so stay tuned for that as well. So yes, ketogenic diet seems very restrictive. I understand that, and I had a problem with that, with with a ketogenic diet because I knew that it was going to be very restrictive but there are ways to navigate the ketogenic diet there's also substitutes that you could make you could do you can make and I'll explain more of that in my future videos so please comment about if you've done a ketogenic diet or intermittent fasting or you're thinking about it please comment and I'll see you in the next video